Hello, good day, and welcome to today's lesson. So, today's lesson is going to be on quadratic form how to find the definiteness of quadratic forms. And this is a very important topic in the study of linear algebra and numerical analysis. Zambuido can render off a third year student of mathematics here in USD, and I'll be taking you through this lesson. Please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much. So, after going through the concept successfully, we'll try to solve this question here. So, this is the main aim of our studies, that after going through the studies, we should be able to solve this particular question. So, the question says, write an example of two variable quadratic form which is positive definite, negative definite, positive semi-definite, negative semi-definite, and indefinite. So after going through this, we should be able to answer this question, and we are going to answer that. So, definiteness of two variable quadratic form. So let's denote the two quadratic form by whatever you have here. So you can see, because it is two quadratic form, it is a function of q is a function of x1 and x2, two variables, and we have our quadratic form here. So we have a here, we have 2b here, and we have c here. So we know we have something of this form. This is how we put it in a matrix form. So here it's like we have something like s, then a s transpose so you can see that here so this thing here becomes our coefficient matrix and that is our a so our a is giving us a b b c so you can see the a is what we have here and the b is we have it here so if let's say we have 8 x 1 x 2 that means b will be 4 because b is twice of whatever we have here so we can find also that from here and we can also find c here so that will help us to be able to form this symmetric matrix so know that this matrix is symmetric because it will be equal to its transpose so always when you have the quadratic form we can form a symmetric matrix from it and based on the symmetric matrix we form we'll be able to determine whether it is positive definite semi-positive definite and the like okay so the most important thing is for you to understand how to form the symmetric matrix so it is just formed from the question here so note that from this matrix a the determinant is given as this and that is just a times c minus b times b so it's given as a c minus b squared and it's called a discriminant of kill the quadratic form so the principal minus of Q are D1, which is equal to A, so whatever we have here, and D2, which is the determinant of the coefficient matrix A, and that is what we have here. So based on these two things that we have, D1 and D2, that is what helps us to make our decision and be able to know whether the given quadratic form is positive, definite, and the likes. So now let's go to the, the decision criteria. So the first one says, if you're D1, so you should know that this is how we find our D1, this is how we find for our D2. So note that. So if our D1 is greater than 0, and our D2 is also greater than 0, if they are all positive, then we have the positive definite form. Then, if D1 is less than 0, and D2 is greater than 0, then we have the negative definite form. So notice that. If D2 is greater than 0, D1 less than 0, then it is negative definite. And we can have indefinite. So we have indefinite whenever our D2 is less than 0. So you could see here D2 was less than 0, so we had indefinite. Here D2 was less than 0, so we had indefinite. So generally, whenever our D2 is less than 0, then the form is indefinite. So our d2 being less than 0 then 
we always have indefinite so whenever d2 is negative it is indefinite please don't forget that right so now i've been able to know the condition for positive definite negative definite and indefinite so now let's go to the semi-definiteness because sometimes you can have positive semi-definite and negative semi-definite so let us try to understand how to you know get those ones so note that semi-definiteness depends not only on leading principal minus d1 and d2 but also on all principal minus in this case on d1 prime equals c so you could see when we generated our coefficient matrix it was of the form a b b c so in this case this c here is also very important okay so the conditions are if our d1 is greater than or equal to zero and our d1 prime is also greater than or equal to zero and d2 is also greater than or equal to zero then the form is positive semi-definite then the second one says if this is less than zero less than or equal to zero less than or equal to zero and this is greater than or equal to zero then the form is negative semi-definite right so after going through these decisions and everything that we've done so far now let us try to answer the question so don't worry if you've really not gotten what you've done so far as we solve the questions the understanding will come so don't worry okay so back to our question so you see the first question we have to get a quadratic form which is positive definite right so we are choosing this quadratic form so note that the quadratic form is always of the form what we have here so this is just a quick revision from what we've done so far so c x2 squared so you could see that um comparing and always our coefficient matrices a b b c it is symmetric so comparing the general form to what we have here that means our a is what three our since we have two here that means our b will be 2 over 2 which will be 1 so our b is 1 here so we have b which is 1 then we have c here which is 2 so when it comes here our d1 is just a so our d1 is 3 which is greater than 0 and our d2 is the determinant of a which will be 3 times 2 minus 1 times 1 which is 6 minus 1 which is 5 which is also greater than 0 so here you can see d1 and d2 are all what positive so that means this is an example of a quadratic form which is positive definite another one is this that we have here so this is also positive definite because when you put it into the matrix form you are going to get this right i hope you understand how to form this just compare it to the general form as i illustrated here so our d1 is 2 so let me so our d1 is 2 that's this one a which is greater than 0 and our d2 is the determinant of whatever we have here which is 2 times 5 then minus this which is 10 minus 9 which is 1 greater than 0 so since d1 and d2 are all positive then of course this um, quadratic form is positive definite so using this concept you should be you should be able to form more examples okay all right so thank you so now let's go to the negative semi-definite so this is an example here so you know writing this in a quadratic form is going to give us no in the coefficient form is going to give us this so you can see that here our d1 which is equal to a is negative one which is less than zero and our d2 which is the determinant of this coefficient matrix here will be the product of this minus the product of this which is 2 less than 0 so remember that we said always d2 has to be greater than 0 whenever d2 is less than 0 then we have indefinite so you could see that when our d1 is less than 0 and our d2 is greater than 0 we have negative definite sorry this is negative definite so we have negative definite then with the second example this is our, our, a second example so with the second example we have 
this quadratic form here where in the matrix form we have this and d1 is negative 2 which is less than 0 and d2 is 1 which is greater than 0 so that means of course this is negative definite so i hope you understand what you've done so far we are just using the rules that we learned here so so far we've used rule 1 and rule 2 so now let's go to um indefiniteness right so we only have indefinite whenever our d2 is less than zero that's the determinants of the coefficient matrix is less than zero so let's take this particular example here so you could see with this particular quadratic form the coefficient matrix is going to be this as we have here and here d1 is 2 which is greater than zero but our d2 is the determinant which is 6 minus 16 because this times minus this which is negative 10 so since our d2 here is less than 0 then that means the quadratic form that we selected here is indefinite okay then this second example to the same thing you could see that finding for the determinant is going to give us negative 10 again sorry which is less than 0 so this is also indefinite so so far i've been able to give examples of positive definite negative definite indefinite so let's go to um positive semi-definite all right so don't, don't forget the conditions we stated earlier so this is an example right so you see when you write this in a um red the coefficient matrix for this quadratic form you are going to have this so here our d1 is 1 which is greater than 0 and our d2 is the determinant of this here which is 0 so we, and our d1 prime here is 1 which is greater than or equal to 0 so you can see because we have 0 here but this d1 is what positive but we have 0 here so it, it makes it so you see if this one here was positive we would have had positive 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 definite but saying d2 is 0 then it means it is semi half so this is semi positive definite so you can based on the understanding give more examples on that and the negative semi definite too we have this particular example here so you can see here d1 is negative d 3 is negative because d 3 is the same as c so here let me even call it d1 prime so our d2 is the determinant of this matrix here which is zero so when you find the determinant of this you get zero so you can see here we have negatives if you're having all negatives and i've gotten negative definite um if you're having all negative with d2 being um, greater than zero we have gotten negative definite but here since our d2 here is um zero and not greater than zero then we have negative semi definite right so it is semi definite so thank you very much and this is everything about um the quadratic form and how to determine the definiteness of them in two variables so please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel see you in other